Digikey and Adafruit bring you I on MPI. I on NPI. That's right. All right. So this week, Lady Ada, we are going to show... Da, 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 da. I on Type-C USB connectors. Uh, this is actually a connector that I've been hoping would exist soon. I couldn't find it. Uh, but then I saw it pop up on Digikey.com uh, NPI, their, their new section. And I was like, yes, finally. First thing I'm saying, I want this USB-C on every board. I want I have a, this one cable thing. And this is what I want. So. Okay, so what is this thing? So it's a USB Type-C connector. And I wish you had a really good guide on USB Type-C. It's a reversible connector for USB. And um, the thing that's really cool about it is it can do like like firewires type speeds it can do like plain usb you can do up to 20 volts it's got it can it's kind of they really mashed everything into it the problem with that though is that to mash all these capabilities speeds power you know all that stuff um there's like 24 pins on the typical uh type c connector which is quite a lot to solder so what i really like about this connector is it's a power only connector from kui so if we look at the diagram you see, it only has six SMT pads on it because they basically only connect to the power pins, the, the VBUS pins, the ground pins, and they have the CC1 and CC2 pins available. Um, but it's like super simple. It's like the simplest type C connector you can get if you only want to get like power into your device. Um, so uh, what's nice about this is that we can compare it to yeah, here's another Kui part, uh, a 24-pin connector, and I got a 3D rendering of it. Uh, I'll also show it on the overhead, and it's just got like a massive number of pins, and so it's not really hand solderable. It's not really reworkable. Like those pads are underneath the connector, and also the cost is much higher. Like for a connector like this, you know, you're gonna pay like a dollar fifty or two dollars uh, per, whereas the power-only connector is only like about fifty cents in quantity. So let's go to the overhead. We can take a look at these. It's a simple NPI, but you know what? Like, if you need this kind of connector, you'll be like, this, this is what folks are here for because it's like, like yes. which one? How do I find it? Where do I get it? What, what does I it want. look like? So, this is, um, you know, another connector with uh, it's USB Type C. Also, you can see there's the USB Type C, but it has every contact brought out. And again, it's going to be a couple bucks because you have these inner connectors here, then these outer connectors. Everything is available. Um, you know, the high speed lines, the low speed lines, all the power pins, the, the sideband pins. This is great if you're making, you know, an advice, advanced peripheral or a, um, you know, a, a computer that has to be able to handle all the different kind of peripherals plugged into it. This one in comparison, you see, it's not, it's not only that, it's smaller too. So you need less board size. It's like the size of a, a micro uh, B connector. And you only have the six pads. Two of them are power, two of them are ground. And then you have the CC1 and CC2 pins. And the reason you need uh, those pins is that you have to connect resistors to them to indicate to the upstream power supplier what kind of power you want. Um, so uh, we recommend you copy our uh, schematic to 5.1K 1% resistors, connect one of them to CC1, one of them to CC2, connect them to ground. And this will basically tell the USB Type-C controller, hey, I want you to provide me five volts, which is kind of standard. If you want higher voltages, it gets more complicated. You get to kind of like negotiate the power delivery specification. But if you just put these resistors on, like bam you're you've got five volt power um you know half an amp to one and a half amps depending on what can be supplied so super easy um to use i really like this connector great price easy to use simple yeah. i like the through hole connectors to, to the pcb because that keeps it mechanically stable and some big chunky pads for power all right so where do they get it so uh you want to pick these up uh these are new from cui i call them kui but you can also just say cui it's, uh, you know, this is the part number. It's the 2223 UJC HP 3 SMT. Uh, and then CT for cut tape. Uh, ND is for DigiKey. So, yeah. uh, or and, you go to the short URL. And pro tip when you're on the DigiKey site, there's a little share thing and it generates a short URL. Yes. DigiKey.com forward slash short forward slash ZHTBW5. And that's great because 
you can uh, cut and paste that from the site, yep. send it to yourself. I always uh, drop it into like a text file or I'll drop it to something that syncs with my phone. I'm going to go look at it later. Um, send it to you. You know, there's all sorts of things. Yes. So uh, available now. Go get it yeah. now from and digi it, Now that you know it exists, when you do your design, next time you do a design and you're like, well, I just want USB power. I don't need data because it's, you know, just something that's powered off of USB. Yeah. Um, this is a great connector to, to source and use. So you know it's there for when you need it. And that's on IMPI. Hi, on IMPI.